My name's Johnny. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha -ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back out again. The Madden video for you guys. So, this is your first time checking out my videos? First time you even come to the channel, man. Make sure you guys drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the road to 1K. Make sure you guys hit that sub button, man. It's free. It only takes one second. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Now, as you guys can see, we got that boy Rich Gannon coming out. And obviously, as you guys can tell how late this video is, I kind of just got Rich Gannon like probably like 10, 15 minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? So, as it is, it took me a little bit to get him. I had to sell my NFL 50 Dante Culpepper. It hurt me so much because we've been through so many battles, but he had to go. He had to go, man. But either way, man, Rush Gannon, very beast of a card. As you guys can see, I only have him to 97 overall. He can't get to 98, but I don't have West Coast up to where it's supposed to be to get him to 98. I know people use go deep and yada, 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 whatever. I can't get him to 98 with West Coast. I are, I know that for a fact. I just don't have enough West Coast to get him to 98, which again I don't really, I don't really care about. West Coast to me is not that big of a deal. All of his, all of his throwing stats already meet threshold, so it doesn't really matter to me. But either way, we're gonna go ahead, jump to his stats, and then we're gonna jump to his abilities because there is something I want to talk to you guys about his abilities. Now, as far as his stats go. Very beast of a card. Speed-wise, this is what I'm very happy about. And I do need to get that plus one speed off for Sprinter. Because Sprinter is not maxed out. But the thing I like about his speed is that he's one speed off of being the same speed as Dante Culpepper when he was powered up. Now, obviously, if I had Sprinter maxed out with Dante, he'll be at 89 speed instead. But, you know, either way... His speed is still good. You know what I'm saying? He can still move in the pocket. He can still scramble for you if you need him to. But either way, he comes in with 87 speed, 96 throw power, 96 throw shorts, 95 throw mid, 93 throw deep, 96 throw under pressure with a 93 throw under run with a 94 play action. This card stats is very, very good. You can do a lot of different things, which I'm very happy about. You know what I'm saying? He's a very good pickup. And of course, he's going to be on my main team also. Now, getting into his abilities. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Here's where it gets very, very interesting. So obviously, you have Omaha as his X Factor, but Pocket Dead Eye. I went ahead and threw Pocket Dead Eye on because I think Pocket Dead Eye worked very well when I had it on Dante. So that's the reason why I went ahead and went with Pocket Dead Eye. Gunslinger, obviously, that's kind of self explanatory. Now, Hot Route Master. I was stuck between Hot Route Master and Protected right now again some of you guys hot route master no brainer i get it but as you guys know i don't use a lot of hot routes you know what i'm saying i typically just well i do hot route plays but i don't need hot route master to run my plays you get what i'm saying so to me it made more sense for me not to use it and go with protected instead now i've played two games with protected on him just to see how well it worked Protected is absolutely trash and useless in this game. It does not stop anything. I thought at least it will stop three-man rushes. So what I did was I took protection off the edges, um, pass protector off the edges, because it's supposed to be stronger pass blocking for all the offensive linemen, which that's what I thought it was. I thought it was going to stop three-man down lineman rush. I thought it was going to give me more time in the pocket. It does not. Okay, it does not stop three down linemen rush. It does not stop a regular four down linemen. Well, I'm not going to say it doesn't stop it, but you honestly, you get the same amount of time in the pocket without protected as you do with protected. It's the same amount of time in my honest opinion. So the games I've played, I had Henry Ruggs a few times, had a receiver beat or had a corner beat, sorry, and somebody got through and within that amount of time, it wasn't like I was trying to buy time or try to buy, like trying to get six, seven seconds in the pocket. No, no, no. I'm talking about I'm getting pressured with maybe within four seconds. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to outrun a three down lineman rush. I'm rolling out of the pocket against a three down lineman rush. You get what I'm saying? So, in my honest opinion, protected is absolute trash, completely worthless. And I didn't test it against, um, against double or nothing or edge threat 
But I'm going to take a guess and say that even if somebody has those abilities on and all you have is protected on your quarterback and you think you're going to get time in the pocket, I ensure you, you will get less time in the pocket. All right? Protected does absolutely nothing. Because the first game I played against somebody, he didn't even have any edge rushers. He didn't have any defense D linemen with abilities on. All of his abilities were on his secondary. You know, one step ahead and acrobat and someone had a a deep knockout player or whatever. He had nobody on his D-line with rush abilities. And they were still getting in. Even with a three dollar line rush, they were still getting in. So it was absolutely terrible. It, it's awful. But either way, we got 52 out of 50 Raiders. We got 43 out of 45 zone running, 20 out of 25 West Coast. Defense is still the same. You guys already know the vibes. No fly zone is still there, and they're still going to ball out. But let's go ahead get into the gameplay. Let's watch Rich Gannon sling the ball around, bro. Let's get into it. All right, Joker fam. So we found ourselves a game, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get DC glitch because the loading stream took a while to load and... You know, man, I, I just don't get why they can't fix this, why this is such an issue, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, Jacob friends, so the game that I thought I was going to get DC glitched out of, I did not. I don't know why the loading screen took so long, but either way, um, we're out here, we're on offense first, so very happy about that. But um, just looking at the different uh, things we can um, audible to for hot routes. It's not bad. It's not bad. I definitely ran a little bit of Hot Route Master last year. So it gives me more freedom to do different things, especially out of my backfield. With uh, Waller being back here, I can run two angle routes. Um, I see Amari Cooper. He gets post corner, corner, post route, fade stop. Which fade stop is not really, I don't know what that's going to be really used for, if anything at all. But, you know, it's just uh, interesting, interesting concepts that you can work with you know what i'm saying but yeah guys i, I like hot route master it just gives you an opportunity to um just do different route combinations you know what i'm saying work different things if you wanted to and it really does confuse the users you know what i'm saying it it makes you second guess a lot and then it's just like that he was using taylor mays he froze he didn't really know what to pick up essentially and on top of that you know, I could, if I need to, I can still dink and dunk tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of different things you can do with it. And I will say that's another good thing about having Hot Route Master is that all the routes that I do run, they all get above five yards. So, you know, just within one drive, Rich Gannon's already about to get his um, get his Omaha. So, you know what I'm saying? That's still, that's still good. And that's actually going to be a touchdown. So, we'll take that, man. You know? All right, Joker fans, there are no fly zone, man. I can see homeboys in this strong set. Um, a lot of people have been running strong, man. A lot of people, man, out of Thrones ebook. So it's kind of annoying that a lot of people are just pretty much all running the exact same thing, essentially out of the same ebook. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's part of the game, and you just got to figure out how to stop it, you know. <laughs> Force your opponent to do dumb stuff like that. And then, uh, can we get six? All right, that's good enough. All right. So apparently I was one off. We're back on offense anyways, but I was one off. I thought we had, uh, whatchamacallit already, but I guess not. Um, thought we had Omaha already, but, you know, it is what it is. See if we can get, oh, good run. Way to go. Let's go, MJD. But we're gonna go ahead, dial up this dot real quick, get Omaha, and you know, continue continue with our regularly scheduled programming. You know what I'm saying? And that's another beautiful thing about having Omaha in combination with Route Master is that our hot Route Master is because you can see exactly whatever you need to see. I could take what I want. You know what I'm saying? At this point in time, all I gotta do is really pay attention to his user, but. I don't have to keep running the exact same thing over and over. You know what I'm saying? I could just have Darren Waller with a check down. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to keep putting him on the same angle route as Maurice Jones drew. But, you know, I can essentially just, I can sit back and, all right, so like I can see that he's in hard flats or whatever. I could just keep taking the exact same things. Except this time he actually put this guy to a spy but ultimately I, it's like i don't need to strain myself doing anything that i don't need to do you know what i'm saying you sit back in the pocket read stuff see what's open and you know what i'm saying that's it but as you guys can see homeboy sitting in a man coverage and he doesn't have one step ahead so this is going to be an easy dot 
for a touchdown. Actually, no, it won't be. So hopefully this play is going to be an easy dot. Maybe not for a touchdown, but at least a first down. We just got to make sure that we're able to protect. Because this is looking like a blatant man coverage. So, yeah. right. so we'll take that. We don't have Hot Rod Master anymore. I mean, Omaha anymore, but it is what it is. But anyways, we're back on no fly zone, man. Um, we just got to keep locking up. There it is. Let's get so hot. But anyways, just third down. Again, it's, it's just a matter of just taking away stuff at this point. I got stuck on a D lineman, which kind of sucks. Of course, it throws an absolute dot. But at the end of the day, what it really comes down to is just tendencies, man. You know, you just got to know what your opponent's trying to do and just try to take away what he wants. And if you do that, it makes your life a little bit easier. So I should have him beat on this, maybe. Oh, nope, I guess not. Now we also jumped up there and picked it off. I thought I had a step on him, but I guess not. Make the tackle, there we go. Oh, well. All right, Jungle fam, so no fly zone held him to three, man. Um, Again, it's, like I said, when it comes down to it, like I said, it's always about tendencies with this game, and that's really about it. Once you're able to draw a beat on what people are trying to do, it makes your life a lot easier. There you go. He's just looking to go to Vernon Davis. It's a loss of 14. Brings up third down. Throwing on third and long. Gannon flush to his right. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. All right, Joe, I'm sure it's fourth down. Probably shouldn't be going for this, but, you know, a little bit hard-headed, so... It is what it is. But well, we got the dot anyway, so. He ain't gonna keep getting beat. He ain't gonna keep letting it happen, too. But this is a big play, third and goal. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. They'll look to throw on third. Easy. Alright. <laughs> Good dot. Second and ten again from the 41. Throwing again. Allen. All right, third down, Joker fam. I don't see Homeboy really going to do nothing too crazy. This might be his last drive, honestly, because I think he's starting to see that he's getting boxed up. Yeah, that's game. <clears throat> but, um,. You know, it is what it is. Oh, let's go. Oh, he's going to let me go. All right. Nah, it doesn't matter. All right, that's going to be GG's. I don't think he's going to stay in this. I'm being too nice. I, I should have just scored a touchdown. He's staying in this game. Um, thinking of, I'm thinking like this is weekend league where, like, if I'm beating somebody already, I'm just trying to get up out the game and get to the next one. Like, I, I should have styled on him and everything. And look at this. There we go. All right, no, that's bad. I, that's cool. That's okay. Oh, Waller, you had it in your hands. Oh, he got the sick. Five people around the ball, nobody can get picked. First down, and they're gonna throw it down. Alright, now that definitely should be game. As he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down. Can't touch this. Yep. Yep. Can't touch this. Yep. Yes, sir. I oh, ain't catching me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right, y'all, so one second left. I decided to go ahead, rub it in. Might as well, since he burned timeouts and did all this stuff. So I might as well, you know what I'm saying, try to, you know, add one more touchdown. Why not, right? So we're just going to go ahead, 
diamond right here. Oh, I thought that was going to be a... I thought that was touchdown. All right, whatever. GG's. All right, Joker fam. So that's going to be the end of the gameplay, man. Um, Here's the thing. Like I said, could I have won that game without Hot Rod Master? Yeah, more than likely I could have. But as it is, Hot Rod Master, like I said, it gives you chances to open up the field a little bit more. Open up your route combinations a little bit more. It allows you to do different things that you obviously wouldn't be able to do without it. You know what I'm saying? So, either way, I pref honestly, like I said, Hot Rod Master, definitely a good ability. Definitely worth using. Um, if you guys are thinking about using any other ability, to be honest with you, I personally wouldn't. These, to me, are the three best abilities you can put on Rich Gannon. Like I said, protected. It sounded good. I've tried it, and it's absolutely trash. Absolutely garbage, you know? So, it is what it is, but I'm only gonna I'm only gonna be able to play one game for you guys and because I still have to get my weekend league games in and stuff like that. So as it is, I hope you do I hope you guys enjoyed the video and again, Hot Round Master Gunslinger, best quarterback in the game, hands down. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you guys drop some likes on the like button. Subscribe to the channel, Joker Family Support. That always means a lot. Till the next one, guys. Peace.